everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video well guys today we are going to give a makeover to one of these beautiful disney princess styling hats a couple of weeks ago if you remember i repainted a big hairdresser styling hat like a real big one and many people including myself really enjoyed that project that's why after uploading that video i went online looking for some other cute styling hats and then i found these two beautiful disney princess dolls one of them is Moana or Vajana, it depends where you live in the world. And the second one is Jasmine. I don't know, I haven't really decided which one I'm going to repaint first. Probably I'm going to start with Jasmine. I don't know, I just kind of feel today in the mood for some Arabic makeup, for some eyeliner, something like this. But don't worry, the second doll I'm also going to repaint very, very soon, like in a couple of weeks, probably. Because I'm really excited about both of them, so let's choose probably this Jasmine doll today. Let's unbox her, take a closer look, and then we're going to give her a completely new face and I can tell you that these dolls are actually really cute they really look like the original characters from cartoons uh, they also have a lot of accessories and they don't really even look that ugly so let's take a closer look I'm also really curious about the quality of their hair because even though these are styling doll heads very often quality of their hair is very very poor with a lot of bold spots and stuff like this so let's unbox her and let's see what is inside and while I'm unboxing guys like always please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos every week Friday or every second week Friday depends on how big the project is and yes of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes and right now let's start working So here is a bunch of hair elastics and also some ribbons, so in theory you can recreate Jasmine's hairstyle with these accessories. Yeah, it can be useful probably, we'll try it later. And here is the doll, the face is really super cute, I absolutely love it. Her hair is already kind of pre-curled and saved in these rolled up ponytails. I don't know, it's not that long. And it feels kind of crispy, not that impressed for now. But I will not touch the hair right now. I will work on her face first and then I will see what we can do with her hair. There is not extremely a lot of hair on her head, but since the head is painted black, it all looks quite okay. So now let's remove her face with pure acetone because I really can't wait to start drawing on her because I really love this face mold. No, actually I will send off her outfit first because her body is plastic and acetone will simply damage it. So I will remove it with sanding paper. the outfit is gone I can remove her face with pure acetone but check it out guys I've just noticed that the blush on her cheeks is completely out of place just on one cheek so <laughs> this doll was kind of destined to be repainted from the very beginning but you know if I bought it for plain for some kit for example I would be really disappointed So the face is gone, now let's seal the surface with Mr. Super Clear sealant to make it matte. Select art supplies, sharpen the pencils and after this we can start sketching, blushing and drawing it all.
Okay, I think this is where I'm going to stop working on her face. Later I will attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips. But first of all, I'm going to style her hair and work on her accessories. So let's start with the hair probably. And let's try to recreate the Jasmine's hairstyle using the ribbon and the elastics that we've got together with the doll. So this is what I've made, this hair isn't really that long, but it's okay, it looks cute. Now let's make an imitation of a dress out of this blue fabric and a piece of golden ribbon. So now let's make some jewelry. First of all, I'm making this golden plate necklace out of warble thermoplastic. Now I will paint it all with acrylics and then I will cover it with gold. And then I have this set of earrings from some big monster high doll. I think they will really fit this Arabian style today. So let's cover them with gold as well.
Okay, the set of golden jewelry is finished. Now I can put it all on the doll, but for this I will have to pierce her ears first using a hot needle. Perfect. It all already looks really good, but I still want to make this gemstone that she has on her forehead because it feels like something is missing right now. So I've printed this gemstone using my 3D printer and now I will first attach it to a piece of warbler and after this I will install a needle to the back of the gemstone. Like this I will be able to connect it to the doll's head and then I will paint the doll and cover it again with gold. So now I just need to attach the false lashes and cover her eyes and lips with gloss acrylic varnish. And then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. Okay guys, here is finally the end result of my work this week and I can tell you honestly working was very emotionally difficult this time because of what is happening in Ukraine. The war started right in the middle of this project and I was in a, such a shock state for days that I even had to take a break because I just couldn't concentrate. All I could do was sitting and updating the news feed while watching three live streams in three different languages at the same time. But yeah, after a couple of days I went back to my studio, to the doll making, because working in my studio has been the best distraction for me already for years. Feel bad and can change nothing, go work on dolls. Always works for me, I can always donate some money to help people in need. So, you know, it worked to a certain degree this time as well. And as a result, I've got an adorable realistic princess Jasmine, who still looks like the original character from the cartoon, but at the same time, she looks very much like a real girl. 
So now I'm quite looking forward to starting working on that Moana doll hat. I think I will be able to make her very realistic looking as well. So I really hope that you like these big doll hat makeovers and that you don't mind if I work on them from time to time. So please let me know what you think about this doll and these kind of makeovers in the comments under this video. So, and that was it for today. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, guys, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint video. And the next one will be probably next week, Friday. It's difficult to say. I'm working on a couple of projects at the same time. So, probably next week, but might be in two weeks. So, hit the bell button and I will see you very soon in my new Dory Paint video. Love you guys. Bye.